Adam and Danielle's wedding day turned deeply regrettable when the groom's mother, Helena, decided to prevent the bride's parents from entering. They were derogatorily labeled as country folks for not being dressed according to the ceremony standard. The groom's mother just didn't expect that life could take surprising turns. Hello, my friends. I am Linda, and this is Linda's Stories Channel. I hope you enjoyed this story. Adam was a young man of striking beauty born into a very wealthy family. He had a reputation for being very cold and serious. The young man left his home at a very young age to study abroad. However, when he finally decided to return to his hometown, he did not expect the twist his life was about to take. When Adam came back home, he went to the kitchen to get a glass of water, and there he saw a beautiful young lady for the first time. She was wearing an apron, gently stirring a pot on the stove. He noticed something different in her gaze, setting her apart from the women he had encountered during his life abroad. Adam soon found himself attracted to Danielle, who was a shy young woman with a fragile appearance. Her brown hair cascaded in delicate curls over her shoulders, and her eyes reflected a kind soul. She played the role of one of the kitchen helpers in Adam's family mansion, holding a modest position known for her dedication and talent. Adam's initial encounters with Danielle were marked by his growing charm. He secretly watched her as she worked with pots and skillfully chopped vegetables. Every one of her movements seemed like a gesture of affection towards the food she was preparing. Adam couldn't forget a sunny afternoon when he saw her tending to the backyard garden. The sun shone on her face, highlighting her natural beauty. It was at that moment that Adam discovered that something was changing inside him. Danielle, on the other hand, was aware of Adam's attention. She tried to maintain her composure and continue with her work, but her heart raced every time he entered the kitchen. It was hard for her to believe that someone like Adam could be interested in a simple kitchen helper. The young man was deeply in love, and even his serious and reserved nature had transformed. He experienced life with lightness and happiness since he had met the girl. Love had a transformative power over him, bringing out a side of his personality he had never imagined before. Determined to get to know Danielle better, Adam finally gathered the courage to approach her. One day, he found her alone in the kitchen, preparing desserts for dinner. With a racing heart, he went up to her and called her by name. Danielle, he said softly. Danielle looked up, her eyes met his, and her heart raced. Yes, Mr. Adam. Adam decided to be direct. Danielle, since I've come back home, I can't get you out of my mind. I've fallen in love with you. Danielle blushed deeply and felt a lump in her throat. With tears in her eyes, Danielle said, Please, Mr. Adam, don't make this any harder than it already is. I can't. Adam left the kitchen with a broken heart, but he was determined to win Danielle's heart, no matter how long it took. Months passed, and Adam continued to court Danielle in various ways. He helped her in the kitchen, brought her flowers, and wrote passionate letters. Danielle was falling more in love, but she was also terrified of the consequences their relationship with Adam could bring. Finally, on a starry night, Adam asked Danielle to be his girlfriend, and she nodded in agreement. They shared a passionate kiss under the moonlight. The couple decided to keep their relationship a secret because they knew Adam's parents would not accept it. However, as their relationship became more serious, Adam felt he could no longer hide his love for Danielle. He decided to tell his parents about their involvement, believing that once they saw the sincerity of his feelings, they would accept his choice. That night, he approached his parents with Danielle by his side. Monique, Adam's mother, twisted her face in disgust when she heard her son's words. You can't be serious, Adam. This girl is not suitable for you. Even with Danielle present, they continued to criticize Adam for being with Danielle. Ricardo, Adam's father, agreed with Monique. This is madness, son. You're ruining your future. Adam was furious at his parents' rejection. You don't understand. 
Danielle means everything to me. I don't care about money or social status. I love her and I will marry her with or without your blessing. Danielle's parents were humble farmers who lived on a farm on the outskirts of town. They were in debt to Adam's family. Danielle's father offered his daughter to work as a way to settle the debts they had with Adam's family. Adam's family was powerful and had significant influence in the city, having amassed their wealth through successful real estate ventures and various businesses. Danielle's parents also had outstanding debts related to the farm. This became a significant factor for Monique as Danielle came from a humble family deeply in debt. Danielle suffered at the hands of Adam's parents, who did not accept her because she was younger than their son and accused her of being a gold digger. They also criticized her education, knowing that she had stopped studying to help her family pay off their debts. Adam didn't care about any of this. His love for Danielle was unwavering, and he couldn't stand to see her in such a heavy work situation just to pay off her parents' debts. He decided he would marry her and take her away from this situation. A few days passed, and Adam didn't hesitate to propose to Danielle. It was a moment of pure love by a lake where he knelt down and gently slid a ring onto her finger. Despite the disapproval of Adam's parents, they remained steadfast in their relationship and kept the decision to get married. Unfortunately, the time came when Danielle had to quit her job at Adam's parents' house. The relationship between her and Monique, Adam's mother, had become extremely tense. Danielle was often the target of hostile treatment within the house, suffering from humiliating situations meticulously created by Monique to demean her. This decision not only affected the dynamics of the house, but also the financial situation of Danielle's parents. With the girl's departure, they lost the valuable contribution her work provided, leaving them even more in debt and facing growing financial difficulties. So months passed and the wedding day arrived. The chapel was beautifully decorated and Danielle was radiant in her wedding dress, but her heart was heavy. Danielle feared that something would happen during the ceremony, afraid that her parents would be looked down upon for their humble attire and demeanor. But she couldn't have imagined what would actually happen. It was a painful and strange situation. Danielle's parents were denied entry to the chapel, a decision that Monique, Adam's mother, had communicated in advance to ensure that only people dressed according to the party's standards were allowed in. Monique was afraid that the guests would see the country family of the bride, so they blocked their entrance. Danielle went after her parents, but they felt so humiliated that they decided not to attend the ceremony. The young woman had to make a difficult decision, to marry without her parents present or to cancel the wedding. She chose to go ahead because she knew her parents supported her love for Adam. However, during the wedding, a woman named Isabel who was among the guests, witnessed the sad episode where Danielle's parents were prevented from entering the ceremony. What surprised Isabel even more was when she took a closer look at Giselle, Danielle's mother, and noticed a white streak of hair. The white streak of hair was identical to someone Isabel had lost many years ago, her younger sister, Giselle. With a racing heart, Isabel chased after Giselle and asked for her name. When the woman responded, Isabel was left speechless, with tears in her eyes, and said, Giselle, it's you, she exclaimed. I've been looking for you for many years. I'm your sister, Isabel. Giselle, Danielle's mother, was stunned, not fully understanding what was happening. After regaining her composure, Isabel explained the entire story. Giselle was her younger sister, who had been lost many years ago during a family trip. Their family was very wealthy, owning vast lands in the city. Danielle's parents had spent a lot of money trying to find their lost daughter, but their wealth was not enough to locate her for years. Then Giselle explained her side of the story, where she had been rescued by an elderly couple, and due to her age and shock at getting lost, no one could trace her. She had grown up in an orphanage with no memory of her true family. The two sisters hugged, tears streaming down their faces as they joyfully shared their life stories. 
Isabel explained that, unfortunately, their parents had passed away many years ago, but they had never lost hope of finding Giselle. After the ceremony, news of the revelation about who Giselle was, Danielle's mother, reached the ears of Monique, Adam's mother. The revelation deeply shocked Monique because she was well aware of Isabel's family's immense wealth, which now also belonged to Giselle. She was quite familiar with the family's properties, having dealt with them directly. At that moment, Monique finally understood how offensive her attitude had been towards Danielle's family. With a feeling of embarrassment, Monique went to Danielle's parents and offered sincere apologies. She acknowledged the mistake of judging people based on their appearance and social status. After the ceremony and the dramatic encounter, days passed, and Danielle and Adam embarked on a new journey of life together abroad. Danielle had the opportunity to continue her studies while Adam built a successful career. The couple radiated happiness, and nothing was more important than the love they shared. Their story deeply touched the town, particularly as a powerful reminder that true love can overcome any barrier. Furthermore, it taught everyone the valuable lesson that nobility is not measured by the amount of wealth, but by the way we treat others. Danielle's parents finally freed themselves from poverty and debt thanks to the wealth Giselle had inherited. And above all, the story left a clear message for everyone. The importance of being kind and respectful to all people regardless of their social status or appearance. If you enjoyed, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment with a number from 1 to 5 to let us know how much you liked the story. Also, watch the video that is currently on your screen. See you soon.